Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Holika Holika Pastel Haze Collection Peace Matching Blush Clean Series. I feel like that is way too much of a mouthful and each website kind of makes it sound different so the other one that I've got is a Holika Holika Peace Matching Blush Clean Series Pastel Haze Collection. So I'm not really sure what order they go in but it's these. I picked these up with the rest of the Pastel Haze Collection and I feel like these are probably the last ones for me to review and they're also probably like the least interesting ones for me unfortunately as there are only three colors in the little collection. So as usual I'm going to have a product description, packaging, swatches and application and then a final thought. So if you'd like to skip to any of those points please do so now. For the product description I found a few of them that were quite different. My favorite one just says the silky powder which is tight to the skin adheres tightly to the skin surface to create long lasting cheek without touch up makeup. Other ones kind of mentioned like the soft watercolor effect that they give um, which is kind of similar to how they talked about in the lip tints as well as the eyeshadows so that kind of comes with the pastel series I think. However these are just part of a bigger series. They do these piece matching things um, with quite a few different other sort of collections. This is specifically just the three colors that come in the pastel range. The packaging of these products is very low key. It's very, I would say boring for me, <laughs> probably. They come in a clear plastic container and the only thing that makes them look different is obviously seeing the color on the inside or if you look on the back, it does say the color in English, which I really appreciate because I cannot read Korean. But other than that, they all look the same. The packaging itself is pretty small, so it's easy to stay in store and they're not in a weird shape so they sit really nicely together which I also really appreciate in the packaging. I do have some place for like odd or interesting packaging but in general um, I like the packaging to be a little bit less bulky so these are quite good for that. There are three colors in the collection a pink, a purple and then this really nice little orange color. The first color I'm going to show you is called clean salmon and this is the light peach color. So this one I'm using a few layers on my cheeks because as you can see on the arm swatch this one barely appears. It does have like a little bit of like a white tone to it um, but mostly it's just like a very natural peach shade. So this is what it looks like without and then with you can tell that there's a little bit of color, a little bit of luminosity but there's really not much to it. So with this one I feel like it's not going to show up on very many skin tones. However it is quite pretty. So this is clean salmon. The next shade is called Clean Pink and this is your standard like pale bubblegum pink and as you can see on the arm swatch again it is that really bright sort of like white toned pastel pink. This one again I'm going to apply quite a few layers and try to build the colour up so you guys can see it on camera. This is what it looks like without any blush and then this is what it looks like with the blush so you can kind of see that very pale pastel pink. But still, like I said, a lot of white tones in the blush. So this is clean pink. The last shade is called Clean Lavender and this one is the lavender colour. On the arm swatch you can see that this one also very repetitively has a lot of like white tones to it. And this one does definitely make my skin look a little bit funny. I feel like with a lot of the lavender colours or the purple colours in general, they can kind of look a little odd on my skin tone because I have more... Um, yellow toned skin so it just looks a little weird so this is clean lavender so in general I feel like these ones are just a little bit basic for me in particular there are definitely a few things that I like about them and would recommend for beginners and then there's a few things that if you have uh, a bigger collection of makeup then I would kind of not warn you away from but just kind of caution you that it will get a bit repetitive. So to start off, the things that I like are more based for beginners. The packaging is easy to use and it's small, so if you are traveling or if you just don't have much room to store a collection, you could get quite a few of these colors for um, you know the space that they would take up, which is really great. They're also on the cheaper side, which is really great. The three colors are quite nice. I feel like as a beginner, these are some nice pastel colors that you could add into your collection. They do have a little bit of that white chalkiness though, so if you have a deeper skin tone, I'm not so sure how these are going to work on your skin particularly because I did see a lot of that white coloring especially in like the pastel purple on my own skin tone and I am fairly light however they are really good standard colors I feel like the purple is not my favorite of course but it is fine the orange is really nice it's not too like bright creamsicle so I feel like it would suit more skin colors and then the pastel pink is just a very standard nice pastel pink 
For me personally, I already have these colors in my collection and I probably have colors that I actually like better. So they're probably not gonna be ones that I keep. Well, they're definitely not gonna be ones that I keep because I just already own them. And if you have a bigger collection of makeup or if you're more experienced in makeup, they're probably not ones I'd recommend for you either because again, you're probably going to have some of these colors. They're very basic um, and you'll probably have ones that you specifically like more as these are all rounders. That's not to say that they are bad products. It's just to say that if you are a beginner, these are gonna work specifically well for you. And if you are more advanced or have a bigger collection of makeup, you probably already have those colors. Other than that, I feel like they looked really nice on the skin. They were really easy to apply and they had really good longevity. I didn't feel like they faded or smudged throughout the day, which I also really liked. So I would definitely recommend them for beginners. Thank you so much for watching this review and I will see you in the next one. Bye.